Welcome to Comics on the Pyre, where everyone can come and indulge in all things comic related, whether it be movies, TV shows, cartoons, video games, or just comics themselves. If you love comic books, then show it by hitting that subscribe button to help this precious media that we all love thrive and flourish. It's New York City, just after nightfall. Time to wrap up another evening's affair of espionage, wiretapping, and blackmailing. In the past few days, my team has compiled a portfolio of evidence so thick that it would make the investigators who handled the OJ trial blush. Our main objective is to rein in what the world knows publicly as superheroes. Why would superheroes, so-called good guys, need reining in, you may ask? Well, fair question. You see, just because you have superpowers, enjoy fame, and like to fight, doesn't make you a morally good person. In fact, most people who are decent people under normal circumstances find at times all that power, well, it can just go to your head. It can make them feel that they are damn near invulnerable. So they turn to drugs, drinking, partying all night long. And most, most become sexual deviants of some sort or other. Stretching and bending the law where they seem fit. And this is where we come in. Meet the boys, the female, the Frenchman, Mother's Milk, we Yui and me, their leader. The reason why this is all taking place. You could call me Billy, but most just call me Butcher. We work in congruous with the CIA. It's sort of black ops, black bag operation. To police the police, watch the watchers, you may say. It may come as no surprise, but those superheroes running around with no direction make those in charge of this country just feel little bit uncomfortable. What if these loons finally got their crap together and really wanted a taste of true power? Who could stop them? And that's why the higher-ups fund us. My group specializes in working from the shadows, gathering intel, and finding people's personal, dark secrets. The kind that would destroy them publicly if the truth ever got out and use this info as incentive to prod with some gentle persuading, I may add, the so-called heroes on the path of the straight and narrow. My team is good, but every now and again, we get found out about it. And then you, just, you may guess the so-called heroes who have been manipulated by us from behind the scenes, uh, they're not always so happy about it. But that's when we get to apply our less evasive traits on them. But even when you think you've seen it all, these perverts always seem to have one last gerbil hidden there in their pants. Jeez. Even there are some things that I don't even want to know about. Welcome, comic viewer. To comics on the pyre. In this episode, in anticipation of the up and coming Amazon television show by the same name, I will be going over Garth Ennis' comic book title, The Boys, first volume, which covers the first six issues of the series. Now, being a big fan of the Punisher Max run and Ghost Rider Trail of Tears, which I loved and by all means check them out if you haven't, I was anxious to dive into the series. What I got was an interesting concept and that was executed quite well. The only gripe that I had with the story is that I felt it was a bit wordy and the character, Wee Yui, who the first volume chooses to focus the major portion on, I found not so interesting. As well as the rest of the team, except for Butcher himself. Every time Butcher was on the page, he stole the show from me and it was as if the rest of the team was just backdrop, used as filler. 
His personal motivation in the story made me feel his plight, and I would love to see how it works out for him. But by far, the so-called heroes in this comic are the, were the most interesting for me, and I believe most realistic and believable. You see, a lot of people in real life are jerks, and if you gave them superpowers, well, they would just become even bigger jerks who will manipulate their powers for their own selfish gains, all while trying to hold on to the moniker of good guy, so-called superhero. We would like to think that our superheroes will be Boy Scouts, like Superman, and honorable, like Batman. But in real life, I believe they would be across the spectrum of the moral morality, from narcissistic and manipulative to flawed individuals who would truly, in their hearts, in the end, want to do the right thing, but are caught up in one way or another in their own vices or addictions. Much along the line of the characters of Game of Thrones. I wouldn't think anybody in this story except for Yui as totally good so far. And that too will probably change in issues to come. And one last thing before I conclude. I love how the actor Simon Pegg was the inspiration of We Yui. Every time I see Yui on the page, I heard the dialogue and Simon's voice, and I got a real kick out of it. With all this said, I give the first volume of The Boys mm, a 3.5 out of 5. A very good read, and hope the television show lives up to the comics. If you get a chance, please visit my YouTube channel, Comics on a Pyre, for other videos like this one. Comment below any comic book series you feel deserve the limelight. Tap on that bell icon before you go, and oh yes, as always, until next time, keep reading my friends.